everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to put together just a basic reveal wheel. So this is my latest collection. I will link the launch video up here so you can see everything in full because it's actually three themes. So this is the space theme. So I thought I'd start off with that one. So if you've watched my launch or you watched me over on Craft Stash when I did the live, you would have seen some of these cards already. But basically, the reveal wheel is this. So it's a circular shape uh, mechanism that will fit onto a six by six card blank. And then you just turn the cog here on the side and it will reveal a different um, you know, image. Now you can extend the opening. You can also have this opening anywhere you like. This is actually using one of the overlays, but I'm going to share an overlay tutorial in a future video. So you can see this one here again, using the space theme and I've extended that opening there. Again, when you turn it, you can see that lovely different picture there and I will be sharing how to make your own galaxy backgrounds and stuff as well in future videos. This one here is using the pattern papers that also come in the kit or the, the collection should I say and this one's just heat embossed so if you don't like colouring you can just stamp your images and just heat emboss them. You can see there you've got your little arrow but there's also a um, turn here stamp that you can use and I've just got some of the images there and then here's another one using the other pattern paper that comes in the paper pad. You can see how I've created that one. So we're actually going to redo this one today, but I'm going to do the opening at the bottom just to give you another example. And then I've got, yeah, pretty much an example of everything you can do with these dies. Very fun. Great for all ages, I think. I've had lots of fun making these ones. So let me show you how to make them. So this is everything that I'm using today. So I've got the six by six mechanism die set. All of this product will be linked in the description box below. And this is how it looks. Now this will fit through a standard die machine. So you don't need any of your larger ones. But you've got your cog wheel and then you've got your main top piece and then you've got your mat layer and then this is your little pie piece there and the disc that will help everything turn. This is the stamp set that I'm using. So there are stamp and die bundles. So you get the dies to come with this as well. And I've just already um, stamped and coloured a variety of those and I've also cut some smaller ones as well. And then this is the paper pad. So the paper pad is eight by eight and it works over the three themes. So you've got your whatever the weather theme, the space theme, which I'm sharing today. And then we've also got perfect plants. So there's two designs for each of those themes, but this all works really well with past collections that I have. And also, you know, with lots of things that you have in your stash already. I've also got the brads for these ones. You're going to want the larger stationary size brads. So these are your eight mil if you're looking for them online. But again, I will link to these in the description box. And I've just got some of my foam little dots here as well. And we'll be using those to adhere everything to the card. So first of all, you want to die cut this one here. So the largest plate. I've die cut it with that pattern paper, but because it is a paper, it's only 180 GSM. I've also die cut a 300 GSM as well and just stuck those together. Now for all of this, I've used the Kalau Clear All Purpose Glue. I just decamp mine into smaller bottles, but you want to use a construction glue because it's going to dry solid. So it keeps everything nice and straight and nice and strong. And it's just perfect for any kind of kinetic cards. So you want to get that ready. I've also then die cut the wheel here and I'm going to show you how to decorate this one. This is my matte layer. So this is using this die here. It just gives you a nice border and then we'll stick all this onto our six by six card blank. So you want to take your pie piece once you've cut this section here and like I said you can stick this wherever you want on here. If you want to open up all of this area I'm going to be sharing that in a different tutorial but most of them, I've just been cutting them along the top. So you just pop it in there, grab some of your tape and just stick the tape in the, in the middle there. But for this one, I'm going to actually cut it along the bottom. Now you can also have, this is directional paper, but you could have your little thumb piece along the top. You could have it along the bottom if you wanted to turn it that way. You could even have it on the left hand side. You don't have to have it on the right hand side, which I've done for, I think, every single sample, actually. But once you get these, you can use them with your own stash. You can use them for any themes that you want. It's just a really nice card style to have. So I'm just going to grab some tape here and you want to just lock the circular part here in the hole that's already cut. And you'll feel that go in and then you can just kind of move this until you've got it in the middle there so I think that's about right and then I'm just going to pop my tape there and pop a little bit further down towards that just to make sure that stays you don't want it shifting out of that hole so otherwise it's going to make it bigger so now I'm going to run that through my machine next you want to grab the disc we'll get that one die cut you're going to pop it underneath and just line up the hole and you'll see the cog comes out through the side there. Sit this down and what I've been doing is, just with a pencil, I like to draw out my sections so I know where I'm stamping. 
Now you might just want to just draw the arch here and do that all the way around and then you can just stamp wherever you want and just have a continuous scene that kind of comes around as you turn it. But I'm just going to divide mine all off. So I've got that one there. Then I like to just flip it around, pop this in and just I can see the point of the pencil from that piece above there. So I'm just sliding it down that way. I know it's exactly opposite and just lightly again. You might just want to do those two and then do, you know, stamp a scene there and there and then have something different here. But I'm then going to move it this way and then pop another one and then I'll just turn this one, pop that one above like so. So now I've got my eight sections and that's all ready for me to stamp. So all of these images have been designed to fit within this size section. If you make your section bigger, this piece here, you can use any stamps, you can have bigger sentiments, so you can start to bring in stuff that you already have. So because for this one, I've got this section cut out on the bottom, I need to make sure that everything is up the right way. So for example, I've got this rocket here. I'll stamp a few different ones because then I can use this on another card. So ink that one up and I'm going to pop my rocket right in there. And then I'll take the astronaut. Now, what you don't want to do is now just go and stamp that one up there, because although the astronaut would actually work because he can be up any kind of way, you know, he's in space, so he could be upside down if you want. But you want to move this piece each time and then stamp. So they're all up the right way, because when you turn, they need to be the right way up in this section. So you want to make sure that you move your disc every time. So again, I'll rink him up. Don't worry if it does go over slightly, but you do want to, you know, if you want to see each one every time, if you're just cutting out that one piece and you want to make sure they're kind of in that space. So with your sentiment, make sure again that you stamp it the right way up, because if I just went and stamp that there now, when I turn the wheel, it would then be upside down. So I'll have the have a blast just there. And you don't want to come too far down into this space here because you might see some of the image in the finger pull section but it's not the end of the world if that happens i've done it on a few of my samples and it's been fine so because i've got have a blast i'll have the comet in the next one let's have that kind of like so and just keep moving it around each time and stamping out your images so i'm just going to finish this one Okay, so that's everything stamped. So now you would colour that in. You can use alcohol markers if you want, because it doesn't matter if they bleed through, because you're not going to see the backside. But get that all coloured, rub out all of the pencil marks, and then you will have something that looks like this. So I've got a different one here. And you've got the stars as well. They're really good fillers. If you've got any spaces like here and you want to fill it, you've got those there. And these ones, and this is the exact triangular shape to fit in there as well. And then we can grab a brad so i've got an orange one here because i thought it matched the paper well you've got larger eight mil brads here but just open them up and just pull them out you'll see they fold in quite close to each other just bring that up you can see there what you want to do just kind of prise it apart and then you can feed it through both of these pieces i'm just going to pop that one together there it kind of, it kind of pops in and then you want to die cut this one here OK, and then you can just pop that one through as well. And now when you open it up, you've got a perfect hole. You should be able to see through it and then you can test. You can see that that moves really nicely. So take your mat layer and your foam pads. I like to put one right in the middle so that the card doesn't dip. And then you can pop a couple more in there if you want. I haven't been in a lot of the demos, but, you know, you can do. And then you want to make sure you've got one in each corner just to keep everything lifted and this all helps and ensures that the the wheel there can move so just take the backing off and then just line that up over the top and you'll have a nice even border push that in the middle there and just give it a test i hold it up there you can see because it's lifted with the foam it's easy there to be able to get your finger in and turn it but now you can see all of those sentiments and images and everything as it goes around so I'm going to stick that onto my card blank in a moment, but I've also cut one of the little arrows. You've got the stamp if you would rather stamp there. You can also stamp on here the turn me, which is here. It was turn here, sorry, and there's the little stamp. I've just been die cutting them a lot with the dies. So I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to pop a very thin 
don't need much at all, just enough to hold it in place. And then just pop that one up and it will fit right in there just nicely. Okay, and then I've got all these images here and I'm going to pop it up on some foam. So we could have one of the planets up there and then maybe have the moon. I like them overlapping. I've done that on a lot of the samples. So we just have the moon just overlapping there. Let's pop this comet so it's kind of hurtling across the card. And then I've got another astronaut. You've got his little tether as well that you can add, which I've got. I've got this sample here because there's an embossing folder that also comes with the um, the collection. But you can see the little tether there that you can add. So we'll pop him there. And I've got the alien, but I think I'll leave that. I'll pop that on something else. So now I just need to pop this onto my card blank. So I'm just sticking that one onto a six by six top fold. You see, you get a nice border. And then to finish the cards, I like to add a little bit of glossy accent. So I didn't do it on that one, so I'm going to finish that one in a moment. But here you can see I put some gloss over the glass on the their suits there, the helmet, and then also on the space station and also on the stars there. It just gives it a little bit of texture. And I've also got it there and I've done it again on the space station there as well. So I'm just going to, I might add a little bit into the middle of the glass there or the window should i say on the rocket and then a little bit and just squeeze a little bit out just move it around with the nozzle until you get a nice even coating and i might pop it in the center of that fireball or the comet and then just kind of down there don't worry if it goes cloudy that's just where it's thicker it just take a little bit longer to dry let's finish this one here so that's the finished card. So I will have the have a blast sentiment as the, the first one they see when they take out the envelope works really well with the images. Then as it goes around, we've got the astronaut there. So I've, I've stamped him upside down there because it does work with him because he's in space. And then you've got the planet, happy but Earth Day. And then there's Earth, you've got the stars, your alien, the space station, and then back to the beginning again. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial showing you just how to use the basic mechanisms, making the most common style card that I think people will do with this with the single um, piece cut out. But look out for the tutorials where I show you how to extend it. I'm going to show you how to use the overlays on a version and I'll also show you how to add a photograph so you can put family members, nice you know, memories in there as well. Everything I've used today will be shared in the description box below and I'll be back again soon. Take care. Bye.